I know you're here by yourself, but what I want to let you know is you're not here by yourself. You've got me, and you've got all of us here tonight. All right, we'll see you I was reading this and I was like, oh, what am I, I going to do with this guy on stage? I know what's coming. Do you? Okay. This, this has happened to me before. This has happened to me before? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> During the 2013 spring semester, Herschel taught a section of Math 041, Trigonometry and Analytical Geometry to Penn State undergraduates while he was playing football, which at Penn State is not a small thing, right? That's how many hours a week. It's like a full-time job. He was also doing research in multi-grid methods and computation mathematics. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> and then he has a paper published called Instabilities of the Sun-Jupiter Asteroid Three-Body Problem. That was published in 2013 in the Journal of Celestial Mechanics and Dynamical, is my second right? Dynamical. Yes, Dynamical. Dynamical Astronomy. So my first question is what, what is all this? <laughs> Can you tell me? I always know that this list is coming when I see someone <laughs> and they have to just glue their eyes to the piece of paper. Where did the love for math come from? Ever since I was a little kid, my mom, she saw something in me with respect to mathematics and the sciences, and she just really pushed that, and she really fostered my growth in that area, and she just always encouraged me to do well academically. How did, how did your teammates treat you? Did they treat you differently knowing that you were like a 4.0 student and doing all the stuff or the same? No, no not no. at all. I'm just, honestly, I'm just one of the guys. It's just that uh, I happen to be a math maker. I happen to be all right at it. Math genius. We could say math genius, I think. I'm excited for the math genius. I, I, I won't say that. You won't say that? I won't say that. Um, and you've been busy, so you, you do graduate. And tell yes. us a little about your last few days. Um, my last few days, I've been busy. I had pro day at Penn State. I'm. Uh, I'm getting ready to, uh, for the NFL draft. Hopefully, I'll be able to pull for that to last year. I've been making rounds to a couple NFL teams. We'll see where I end up. Honestly, whoever wants to have me. <laughs> so far in sports, like, what are you most proud of when you look back on your athletic career so far? Because I think you've got a long way. Uh, let me see. Honestly, I'd say how proud I am of my team. Just all that we've overcome in the past two, three years at Penn State, and just sticking together, fighting through things, and really persevering. Um, and you also, you, that's a good one. Right, right. And you also won, uh, this is the Campbell Award, is that correct? Yes. Is that, tell me a little bit about that. That is like one of the, the, the best awards you can win. I'd say that's probably. After the Sullivan Award. After the Sullivan Sol Sol Award. <laughs> if the National Football Foundation people are watching this, don't listen to a word well, he says. We'll edit a special tape for We'll that. edit that out for now. But uh, I'd say that's definitely my greatest accomplishment to date personally, just to be able to represent all that's good about football and all that it can do for you outside of athletics, how it can teach you discipline and your academics and your community service just how you live your life as a man. And uh, it was a very big honor for me, and that's something that is very dear to my heart. What do you see yourself doing once, once a football career is over? You know, once I'm done with football, you know, I have my 10-year career in the NFL, I intend to go back to school and get my PhD in math. Hopefully become a researcher or a professor. Not while you're playing? You did yeah. that at Penn State, you were teaching classes, taking classes and playing football. Maybe, so we'll see. Don't yourself short. <laughs> And what is it meant to you to be a Sullivan Award nominee? What's it meant to you to be here and be in such a you know, prestigious group? Honestly, like I said before, it's just an honor to represent all that's good about sports. And I have to say, he has the future as the most amazing motivational speaker. You've got, you've got the football, he's got this amazing math science background, amazing story. You're so, you're so well spoken, great representative for your school and for everyone, for, for the AAU and Sullivan Award. So, thank you so much for being with us here thank today. You. And good luck. Thanks a lot, John. <laughs> so, one uh, thing about the Sullivan Award is that uh, we have the biggest envelope in the history of awards. <laughs> uh, to unveil the envelope, I'd like to welcome back up to the stage. Uh, President Forrest and the chair of the AU as well, uh, Willie, Willie Brown, come on down guys. To, uh, ready, Kim? We're ready. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah.
2013 AU James and Sullivan Award is presented to John Urschel in the sport of football.